Hello YouTube and Happy New Year! I really hope 2024 will be a wonderful year for all of us. As you might have already guessed, today I'm going to talk about hot air guns. On the left is the latest digital hot air gun from Parkside. On the right is the well-known Bosch Professional. The two machines share pretty similar characteristics. The airflow volume is ranging from 150 up to 500 liters per minute. The temperature range is from 50 up to 650 degrees Celsius. Both machines are equipped with a LCD display. Bosch is rated 2300 watts while Parkside only 2000. Let's take a look inside. Of course, Bosch comes with a pretty nice briefcase. In both packages, the user can find additional nozzles. Two with Bosch and four with Parkside. Like I said, both machines feature LCD display and a three position switch, off, cooling mode and work mode. As it goes for the length of the tools, Parkside is a little bit longer, about 2 cm. Parkside is about 630 grams, while Bosch is a little bit heavier, almost 700 grams. The power cord on Bosch is 2.5 meters long, while on Parkside it's a little bit longer. 4 meters. Parkside features an LCD display with a three colored backlight, blue, red and green. The backlight is blue when the machine is in cool down mode. I will tell you about that mode shortly. The backlight is red when the machine is trying to reach certain temperature and the backlight is green when the temperature has been reached. Now let me tell you about the cool down function. It's a really interesting feature. If you switch off the machine and the temperature is still above 50 degrees Celsius, the fan inside will continue to run. Of course, this is in case you haven't unplugged the machine from the power outlet. So the fan inside will continue to run until the temperature drops below 50 degrees Celsius. This way, you always be sure that the metallic part over here is safe for touching and the machine is safe for packing back in the box. As it goes for Bosch, it doesn't have a three-colored backlight on its LCD display. It doesn't have a backlight at all. It doesn't have a cooldown function. The only interesting feature here is that it has a memory, so you can save a certain combinations of airflow and temperature. Well, let's start with Parkside and switch it into cooling mode. The display is green, the temperature is fixed, 50 degrees Celsius, you cannot regulate it, you can regulate only the airflow. Continuing with the cooling mode on Bosch. Again, you cannot regulate the temperature, you can regulate only the airflow but the machine automatically regulates the temperature depending on the airflow in the range from 50 up to 100 degrees Celsius. Well, let's wait and see. Yeah, it's increasing 60 degrees Celsius. Let's briefly review the work mode on Parkside. The user can adjust both airflow and temperature. You can see now how the display turns into red. And it will continue to be red until the machine reaches the desired temperature.
And now let me demonstrate you the cool down mode, switching off the machine. The display turns blue and you can see over here cool down and a timer. Of course, the user can always override the cooldown function just by pressing the cooldown button. This is in case you're in a real hurry. Well, let's review the work mode on Bosch. Again, the user can regulate the airflow and the temperature. And according to my tests, Bosch is reaching the preset temperature a lot faster than Parkside. I don't have a specialized tool for measuring this, but feeling the airflow by hand, I can tell that the airflow on Bosch is way more concentrated than on Parkside, and probably this is due to the unusual design of the nozzle on Bosch. Here I have one really simple household power meter. The power consumption is zero. Let's start with Parkside and plug it in and you can see this really strange power consumption of 1.4 1.1 watts and what's even stranger is that if you put your ear near the machine you can hear one really specific buzzing. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera. Let's do the same experiment with Bosch. Zero. and no buzzing at all. Back to Parkside, let's turn it on and monitor the power consumption when rising the temperature from 50 up to 650 degrees at full airflow. Full airflow, 50 degrees Celsius, 140 watts. It's increasing the temperature and the consumption really slowly. So, 1950 watts at 650 degrees Celsius. Absolutely the same test with Bosch. Maximum airflow, 50 degrees Celsius. The consumption is a little bit higher. Starting. And you can see how fast Bosch increased the power consumption way up to 2000 and 300 watts. Let's measure the maximum temperatures the two machines can reach and how fast they can reach it. I'll be using absolutely the same nozzle on both machines 
the tip of the sensor will be touching the nozzle exactly over here. Both machines will be set at 650 degrees Celsius at maximum airflow. I think this is long enough, almost 370 degrees Celsius. Continuing with Bosch, absolutely the same nozzle. The contact point will be absolutely the same. Well, I think this is somewhere the maximum, 550 degrees Celsius. Way better than Parkside. Well guys, despite of having some really interesting features like a colored backlight on the LCD display and a cooldown function, Parkside is definitely losing the race against the Bosch Professional. Bosch is capable of higher temperatures and it's reaching them faster. Well, so much from me and so much for this video. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe.